Let's dive in. This is the team that has kind of owned this conference for a little while up until last year. That would be the App State Mountaineers, Appalachian State. Sean Clark is the head coach. In his first year, they went 9-3 and three last season. Uh, they went 13-1 and one under Eli Drinkwitz back in 2019. Uh, projected record for this bunch is 9-3 and three across the board, SP Plus and FBI. Their win total, imagine that, sits at 9. And the over-under is juiced at 115 on both sides. So, uh, minus 115 on both sides. So, you're giving up just a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, Ten defensive starters return for this bunch. They are the number one pass success rate defense in the country last season. The run defense was fine, but is fine good enough in this conference? Because you've got a lot of teams that can run the ball sure. in, in the Sun Belt East, for sure. Uh, but throughout the entire conference... Clemson Duke transfer quarterback Chase Bryce takes over the offense, and they got they got no other quarterbacks returning for him. So Chase Bryce decided he's going to come in and get the job after throwing about eight thousand interceptions for uh, David Cutcliffe last season. All three of their running backs return, along with stud wide receiver Corey Sutton. Uh, the road schedule is rough this year at Troy, at Arkansas State, at Louisiana, at Georgia State, at Miami, Florida. Um, Open up with a neutral site game against East Carolina. I got to tell you, uh, I'm going to go under here. I don't trust Chase Bryce, and there's nobody really behind him. Yeah, this team has been the model of consistency. Yes. But to get to 10 wins is rough with this schedule. Yes. I I think, but here's the thing. You get close to the home, so like that helps, I guess. Historically, App State, has no problems upsetting one or two of these teams that they're supposed to beat every year. And they historically don't lose games they're not supposed to lose. I don't know if this is the historical app state that we've kind of grown up with. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. Uh, it's I a, like Sean Clark. He's been there through no, all these other coaches. It, yeah, it's not, it's not a not liking the coaching staff. It's a, they're just going through a weird part of recruiting and where they, where they are with this team, Yes, in my opinion. Yes, you you are correct. And getting about the that. ten wins is tough. Coastal, Louisiana, um, Miami, are I mean, all three, three teams that should beat them. That that should beat them. I think will beat them. Now, could they upset one of those teams? Yes, but that means they cannot slip up against Marshall. They cannot slip up against at Georgia State. At, I was gonna say mean, Georgia State, Arkansas State has a crazy offense that. You, you know, never know. You, it yeah. just can get you. You're on and, the road. And Troy is is one of the more talented. Now I don't like their coach. No spoiler. It's just but. one of those things that it's scary as hell to go ten. Yes, I'd rather go eight than ten. Yes. So we're both going under nine. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.